Hello, welcome back to another breaking news update. My name is Jimmy Boyd and you were watching Boyd News. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I've got some breaking news coming out from Taiwan to share with you. So if you weren't aware of this just hours ago, China conducted large scale military exercises completely surrounding Taiwan once again. And they call this the Joint Sword 2024B exercise, a major military exercise using hundreds of fighter jets and uh, dozens of warships begun encircling the island, practicing blockading and taking control of key ports of Taiwan. China's People's Liberation Army said it was a stern warning to separatist forces seeking independence for the island. Okay, so apparently the reason why China launched these military drills off the coast of Taiwan uh, was due to what they considered punishment for a fiery speech that was given by President William Lai who is the uh, president of Taiwan currently, and he vowed to resist annexation or encroachment upon their sovereignty. Okay, so this is multiple times well we've heard uh, Taiwanese presidents come out and say that they will never join back with, uh, with China. They will remain an independent uh, country. And, uh, you know, obviously we know that China wants to take back, take back Taiwan at some point. Um, I think uh, they will try to do this at some point in the future. And uh, obviously, these military exercises are in preparation for that. So uh, this is very big news. And uh, obviously, we have a lot of things happening over the Middle East right now. I've been talking to you guys about this. And this is something that I mentioned once in the past that uh, I believe personally that what we may see happen at some point is some countries like maybe uh, China or potentially North Korea could take advantage of the situation if the U.S. gets caught up with, what, with what's happening in the Middle East, uh, maybe with Iran uh, the timing of this is very interesting as, uh, you know, if the U.S. gets caught up with Iran, this could be the time that China could potentially take advantage and try to go after Taiwan while it remains, uh, for the most part, undefended while the U.S. has all its military assets tied up in the Middle East. So I thought the timing of this was very interesting. So I want to talk about this some more. We're going to go over a quick report today. This is not going to be too long of a video, but uh, let's hop on over here to, uh, to Mainstream News. This is from BBC. China punishes Taiwan's president, remarks with new military drills. Okay, this is just coming out today. Here's a picture of a Taiwanese uh, fighter jet scrambling to uh, intercept some of China's uh, military uh, exercises over here near their country. China on Monday launched new military drills off the coast of Taiwan in what it described as punishment for a speech given by its president, William Lai, when he vowed to resist annexation or encroachment upon our sovereignty. China claims the self-governing island of Taiwan as its own and is, uh, its president Xi Jinping has vowed to retake it by force if necessary. Taiwan said it detected 34 naval vessels and 125 aircraft in formation around the island on Monday. Look at that, guys. 34 naval vessels and 125 aircraft. Pretty massive exercise. Maps published by Chinese state media indicated its forces were positioned around the whole island. It said later on Monday that the drills had been successfully concluded. Something to note here is we've seen these drills taking place so many times uh, now. I want to say at least three or four times, maybe more, um, as I probably lost count of how many times uh, the Chinese have done this. But uh, imagine that, you know, they've done so many of these exercises already. They've got to uh, potentially have mastered how exactly they're going to put together their plan to attack Taiwan. And if you notice, they take advantage every single time. Every time there's some sort of uh, provocation coming from either the West or from, uh, from Taiwan directly, that's immediately when they start launching these exercises. And they use this as a way to uh, practice and take advantage. And, and that way it doesn't stoke tensions right away because obviously they're responding to something that maybe the president had said inside of uh, Taiwan. This gives them the opportunity to practice how they're going to retake this island. So very interesting. The Chinese military known as the People's Liberation Army. The PLA said the drills involved all wings of the army and were designed to simulate attacking Taiwan by land, sea, and air. Senior Captain Li Ji, spokesperson of the PLA Eastern Theater Command, said the drills fully tested the integrated joint operation and capabilities of its troops, Taiwan's airports and ports, uh, airports and ports continued functioning as normal. An earlier statement from the Taiwanese Defense Ministry condemned the Chinese move and said it was priority. Its priority was to avoid direct clashes, which could escalate the standoff further. Outlying islands uh, were put on high alert, it added. 
China's foreign ministry confirmed it had simulated military assaults and port blockades and described Taiwanese independence as being incompatible with peace in the region. A post uh, by the Chinese Coast Guard on its uh, Weibo, I don't know if it's Weibo or Weibo account, uh, later noted that the route off the patrol was in the shape of a heart. So this is a picture that was shared uh, by China showing that uh, their patrols were literally in the shape of a heart. Obviously some propaganda too to let uh, Taiwan know that eventually it will be brought back to the homeland. It's kind of the way that China describes this. So definitely more uh, more escalation happening over here, even in uh, the uh, in the Pacific, uh, over here in, in uh, Southeast Asia, because we even just reported just uh, yesterday as well that there's lots of tensions with North Korea. I've got an update in regards to them as well. We could have a potential war breaking out on the Korean Peninsula here very soon. And then obviously... Uh, we have the tensions that are happening right now between Taiwan and uh, China. And, and uh, will China attempt to retake Taiwan at some point? I think it's very possible they may choose to do so. But I just wanted to bring you an update and let you know about these military exercises that were taking place over here near Taiwan just earlier hours ago. So that's going to be it for today's update. I hope you got something out of this. If you did, please smash that like button. Also, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing down below. Hit the notification bell, that way YouTube can notify you. And with that, hope you all have a great day. Everybody take care and God bless, and we'll see you in the next one.